Before we get started actually putting together our particle system, I want to take just a moment and show you the assets that we're going to be using to build it. I'm going to open up the content browser and currently I'm inside the particle demo package that I've put together. This has a few textures and a few materials. Here's the first texture. It is just a picture of four pieces of fire. It's divided into a two by two grid. Pretty easy. Next we have the smoke texture which is a similar thing, it's just with four puffs of smoke and we'll be using each one of these puffs individually in our particles. Now let's take a second and look at the materials as well. First we'll start with M underscore fire which will be the material we'll use for the flames. And let me show this actually on a plane because it'll just be a little easier to understand what it is you're looking at. First off, notice that the actual material node is set to a blend mode of additive, a lighting model of unlit, and if we scroll down, you'll notice that used with particle sprites and used with particle sub UV have both been activated. Now, as for the nodes that are plugged into it, we have a particle sub UV that is actually attached to our fire 2x2 two two texture. And we have a vertex color. We're taking the RGB info of both and multiplying them together. We're taking the alpha info of both and multiplying them together. The RGB goes into emissive. The alpha goes into opacity. Very straightforward. Now if we jump over to the fire glow, we actually have the exact same network and the exact same settings. We've just swapped out and we're now using the smoke texture. If we come down and take a look at the smoke material, we have some different settings. We're using a blend mode of translucent and a lighting model of unlit. However, we have still made sure to check the used with particle sprites and used with particle sub UV settings. Outside of that, it's exactly like the glow setup. So we have a particle sub UV that is linked over to our smoke texture and the color is multiplied with a vertex color and the alpha is multiplied with a vertex color. Color goes into emissive and the alpha goes into opacity. Now let's take a look at the last material. This is a heat shimmer material and this can be a little bit hard to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is grab one of the settings over here, this little constant value, and crank it way up to like 100. And if you take a look over here in the preview window, you can really see the result now, how it's distorting the background. Now what we've got is two textures. We have our parameter sub UV, which we saw earlier. It's just our little smoke texture. We also have a texture sample, which is coming from one of the uh, textures that is included with UDK being TEFX Particles Distortion 01 underscore D. Now that's plugged into a panner which is moving the texture around. That's all it's doing. It's sliding it up and slightly to the left. So there's the speed X and speed Y settings. That is being multiplied by a factor to control how much distortion we have. And then the two results, the texture and that multiply, are multiplied together to feed our distortion. The RGB information is also being used for opacity. You could use alpha just as well in this case. Now I'm going to turn my little constant here back down to 10, and that's going to set my distortion back to its default settings. I only cranked it up so it would be a little easier to see here in the preview window. Now I don't want to save any changes here. Now that is just a quick overview of the assets that I have on hand. Now uh, if you have this package and you can open it up, great. If you'd like to build the materials on your own just for the ex uh, experience, cool. If you want to just watch me go ahead and build the fire system, that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. I'll see you there.